Hi everybody, hope you're all keeping well. This week I'm going to have a look at repairing this. One of our regular visitors into the museum, this is his train. He left it in, it's not working, so we'll head over to the workbench, have a look at it and see if we can get it going for him. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. So here we are at the workbench. Now this is a Hornby Class 92. It's got the fake pantograph on the top. Um, let's have a look at it, see if it's working. So we'll get a little cradle, put it in. So first thing I'm going to do is just 12 volt supply. It's an old Hornby controller. And just put it on the wheels and see if we get any response. No, there's nothing. Oh, there we go, there's a little bit of life. So it is working, but it's not working that well. So it probably just needs a good clean and a service. So let's take it out of the cradle. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. So with most of these models, they've got lugs either side. This one looks like it's got a screw in the center as well. So we'll take that one out. sure if this screw is holding the body on or just holding the weight inside but we'll take it off anyway that's quite a long one so maybe going through to the, the shell right, that's that out. Uh, it's just a matter of getting your fingernails underneath the lugs one at a time wheels out and just pop it out like so. There we go. And that screw was just into that lug in there. So what I'm going to do is just pop this connection off here. Bring it to one side. So you can see we have the bodies have come out. Now on this particular model, there is a switch at the top because he did produce a model with the working pantograph on the top and that switch at the top was to work between the two. So you need to make sure it's switched over so these connections here work. So in that position there, it will work with picking it from the wheels. On the model with the pantograph, if you switch to that direction, it would work by taking power from the pantograph. This is just a dummy pantograph on this model. So. That's the weight, we'll put that to one side and we'll put these little plastic bits which are the cab interior down to one side. I'm just going to pull the plug off there just so we can separate the body. Now there we can see the motor which again we can just pop out. There we can see. Now looking on here everything's in place, you've got a capacitor, is that focus in there? So this is a DC model and quite often they'll have a capacitor across to help reduce interference. Not so much a problem now with LCD TVs and that, but certainly with the old cathode ray tubes, it could cause interference in old TVs. So that's just a hangover. So we'll leave that there. Um, you can see there's, it's a bit dry on this side, so I might give it a little bit of lubrication. Let's see if that focuses in there. Yeah, come on, focus in. doesn't want to focus. So you can see it's a bit dry there. There's a couple of hairs tangled up in there, so I'm going to take them out. That won't help with the running. A bit of fluff, so give it a bit of a clean. What I'll do is I'll give it a drop of oil. I've got a little oiling pen in here that's got some light machine oil in it. You can pick these up at most hobby shops. One of these pens, it's about a fiver I think, and it will probably last you your lifetime. So I'm just going to put a drop of oil on the moving parts. And just work them around. Let that work in. 
Now I don't need to put any oil, I can see oil in there, which if you can see oil, it usually means they're too much. So now I've put the oil on, I'm going to run it for a little while and then I'll just clean off any excess oil because with these, if you can see oil, there's too much. So let's get the actors and we'll just, you see that there? All I'm just going to do is put the power across the terminals. So just let it run for a minute, let that oil work its way in. And if I swap it over, just so the motor turns the other way. And that should be enough just to let that oil work in. And I'm just gonna just take a cotton wool bud and just clear around and just take off any excess oil. just to suck up some of that excess oil that's in there. Okay, you can see some of the dirt and filth that the oil picks up. So next thing to do is I'm going to give the wheels a clean. Now with this, the way this is designed, so you have the uh, rear bogey, the main power bogey. So the power is picked up through one set of wheels on here car through that cable, through that switch to this side and the other side is picked up directly from the wheels and fed into the motor. So we can see that the power is picked up by the wheels on this side, goes through the motor and returns through the set of wheels to the track. Now this is an older model and the older models were designed like this. Thankfully now the newer models have more wipers on them for picking up the electricity so It'll pick up the power from both sides of the bogey and the same with the power bogey. So it gives them much better uh, running characteristics because it's not just relying on these two wheels and these two wheels for pickup, it's relying on all the wheels. So we're going to give the wheels a bit of a clean. So for that I've got, this is some uh, surgical spirits. You can pick this up in most chemists, they'll have it somewhere, or you can get IPA which basically surgical spirits is IPA with a little bit of methylated spirits in it. And I'm just going to take cotton bud dipped in and just wipe around the wheels. And that will give them a clean off. Now these wheels don't actually look too dirty and then if I just turn them around so I can get at them. Give them a clean. Now, depending on the type of motor you have, some of them may have wipers on this side of the wheel, so as you're, you would clean that side of the wheel as well. And you can see, although they didn't look that dirt, dirty, um, you can see the dirt that's there that's coming off. So I'm gonna carry on with this, giving these a clean, and then we'll come back and have a look at it. So I've popped the bogies back in, I've cleaned the wheels. You'll notice on this one it's got some traction tires. These are rubbers on here to give it a better grip. Don't clean them with your IPR surgical spirits. They can cause these tires to harden and go brittle and then they break off and you lose your traction. You'll always be able to tell which wheels are the, um, the pickups because they'll be the ones that are most tarnished because obviously that's where the electricity is going through and as it's drawing current, it's laying down a layer of dirt and muck on there. So give those a clean. Right, all I'm going to do now is put this back together and then give it a test run and see how it goes. There we can see the body's back on again. When you're putting the body on, just be careful you don't trap any wires or anything underneath it. They could be pinched and damaged. Um, use a cradle if you can, if you have one. It helps protect it when you're working on it. Um, your loco may be different to this one. This one had plastic clips here and here and a screw underneath holding it in place. Um, they're all different. Some will have screws at either end to take off. Some may only have a screw. Some of them may only have clips. But if you've got your instructions with them, they will tell you how to remove the body. And if you haven't got instructions, usually a quick Google search and you will find instructions. 
Okay, so the last thing to do now is we will pop it onto the rolling road. This is the DCC Concepts rolling road. Set it in place. And we'll apply some power. And there she goes. Let's just zoom in on that so you can have a and here, probably picking up the engine's a little bit noisy. But we reduce the power of the noise, ease us down. Some of these older uh, Hornby engines can be a little bit noisy. Uh, we can try putting a little bit more oil on that. But uh, what it probably needs is a bit of running in. So I'll leave this running now for about 15 minutes. And then I'll change the direction, let it run for about another 15 minutes. Helps everything bed in and wear evenly. So I'll leave it at that and I think it's ready now to go back to its owner who can have some more fun on his layout with it. So here it is, all repaired, ready to go back to its owner. It's had a running in 15 minutes either direction. Uh, the noise has ceased on it now, so everything's bedded in nicely on it. Um, so if you've got any questions on this, pop them in the comments down below. Um, there'll be a video here and here for you to carry on watching if you so wish, and subscribe button in the middle. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.